Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video, I'm going to be doing a post-apocalyptic Unimog build-off with Keith from Outlaw Speed Shop. So I was watching one of his videos a little while ago and I noticed he had one of these Unimogs sitting there on the bench. He'd been customising it into a post-apocalyptic version for a build-off with myself and Rob from Matchbox Garage, but it ended up being a muscle car build-off instead. But I had also had this model sitting on my bench for the last month or two with the intent to do a post-apocalyptic build with it. So what better opportunity than this? This Unimog 1300 model was actually just released this year. So I drill out the rivet posts and take the car apart. I use some poly stripper to remove the paint from the casting. And then give it a quick clean up with a wire brush on my rotary tool. Now I begin fabricating. I add some tread plate and a couple of side walls at the rear. I'm going to cut off the spare tires from the back of the interior. I make a bull bar for the front attached onto the base of the vehicle. Some mesh in where the front windscreen would be. Some armoured bars across the windscreen. Some hinged armoured panels for the side windows. More tread plate on the sides of the base. Some armoured bars. Some armour and a piece of chain at the rear. I have this old surf and turf body that I'm going to chop up. I start the cuts with a disc on my rotary tool and then finish them with a coping saw. The surf and turf parts fit nicely onto the Unimog. I add some plastic beams to strengthen the base of the car. Then some more tread plate and pitted armoured panels at the sides. I paint the fabricated car body in Molotow silver rattle can. I then paint on some rust effect with my airbrush. You can see how I do this in my Nomad Barn Find video. I carefully mask off some of the parts that I don't want to be painted with the same colour as the body. I use some liquid mask to mask off the hinge details above the side windows. I'm going to use some salt to achieve a chipped paint effect. I first paint on some water where I like the chipping to be. I then sprinkle on some salt and it sticks to the wet areas. I'm going to paint my Unimog in this Vallejo dark green. And here it is after a couple of coats. Now to remove the masking.
Next, I take a brush and scrape off the salt, revealing the rusty texture underneath. I'm going to use a similar technique to paint the surf and turf parts but instead of painting them green I'm going to paint them black. I want these to look much more heavily weathered and chipped so I apply a lot more salt. Use some black paint, I paint in some of the details on the body. The front indicators are painted silver. I apply some rust washes over the rusty areas. Next I apply some thin down gun metal. And then finish with a dark wash. The indicators are finished with a Tamiya Clear Orange. The base is also painted with a silver rattle can and then airbrushed with a rust effect. I use a dark steel to do some detailing.
then a dark wash. The interior is quite nicely detailed. I give this a coat of the silver rattle can. I airbrush on some rust. Some details are painted in. And I finished it with a dark wash and a lighter wash on the seats. This is a roof rack from a little matchbox 4x4. I'm going to put this on the top. It is painted silver and then detailed. I'm just going to stick with the wheels that came with the vehicle. I first need to take them off the axles so I snip off the flattened ends. I add some chains to the rear wheels. The rims are painted silver. Then I speckle on some rust and finish them with a dark wash. And here are all of our parts, fabricated, painted and ready to go back together. Before we take a look at our finished post-apocalyptic Unimog, let's take a moment to be reminded of what we started with. A quite cool 2019 Unimog 1300. It's a pretty cool model with its tow winch and spare tyres, but I don't think it's quite tough enough to survive in our post-apocalyptic world. And here it is, our finished post-apocalyptic Unimog. It might be a bit more rusty and paint chipped, but it's now got plenty of armour. A roof rack with supplies on the top. The deck is protected with an old car body. 
I've extended the chimneys up above it so that you wouldn't get smoked out if you were in there. It has some chains on the rear wheels to help it get through the mud. I have decided to leave this model unweathered for now, just in case I decide to put it in a diorama or something, I would weather it then to suit the scene that it's in. So I hope you enjoy this build, it was actually quite a lot of work, it took me about three days. I'll now be really keen to see what Keith came up with. If you haven't checked out his channel, it's really great, he does heaps of awesome customs. Everything from post-apocalyptic to hot rods. That's Outlaw Speed Shop. I'll leave some links in the description below. While we take a look at some photos of the Unimog, I'll just take a moment to welcome all of my new subscribers and say a massive thanks to everyone for the awesome comments and likes on my videos. Thanks heaps, everyone. And a special thanks to my Patreon supporters, Rob, Dan, Eric and Eileen, Diecast Pirate and William. Thanks again, I really appreciate the support. If you'd like to help support the channel you can check out my Patreon page, there's a link in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video, please like, share and subscribe.